Hello there, this video is about large files. This camera is responsible for many of them. The phantoms typically only record for a few seconds at a time, but they're taking so many pictures every second that you end up with absolutely massive files. It's between 16 and 24 gigs per second, depending on which camera we're using. And when you have a long shoot, for example, the super slow show was a 26 day shoot with phantom operators just doing full RAM saves every time. Uh, it was an extremely expensive show just to store. And since doing Planet Slow Mo, I am absolutely at capacity. In the past, I've just been filling external drives. So a few years ago, I did a little PC upgrade where I pretty much just opened the massive case I already had and stuffed it full of hard drives, absolutely rammed the thing and added 10 gig networking at the same time. And a lot of the comments, well, most of the comments, almost all of the comments said, you need Linus from Linus Tech Tips to build you a storage server. So why don't we pop over to Canada and get it done? All right, I did it. Now I'm here with Linus. Hey guys. So you've, uh, you've seen firsthand the files that our cameras create slightly. It's crazy. You upstairs said you don't envy me working with these files. I don't. Like that. So 45 drives, Western Digital and Unraid. Basically hooked you the math out up. It's been a long day. It's like actually very what late in the evening right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so they hooked you up. You're going to have at the end of all of this somewhere between 130 to 140 terabytes of raw storage. That'll last you. Well, I think to this point, I've shot maybe 250 terabytes, not including my YouTube originals, probably each 100 terabytes. So this will last, what, like, end of summer? Okay, well, let's get started then. But I need then. it. I literally need it. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm, like, at capacity right now. Let's look. Pay close attention while we're building this, because okay. clearly you're going to be building another one in a couple of months here. How, um, how is expansion on these? Or are, uh, we, or are we filling this up? We're, we're, we're going to fill it up. All right. OK, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so these are your WD Red 10 terabyte NAS drives. So what's special about a NAS drive is unlike a desktop drive, which is designed to be basically asleep most of the time, and then you sit, you use your computer for a bit. And yeah, then it'll you, spin up, and it'll take forever. You go hygiene or whatever. And yeah, go it, and do a hygiene. Yeah, like a brush, teeth brush. You've got shower. mouth hygiene, you've yeah. got like other hygiene. <laughs> yeah, that you need to all kick. the hygiene. <laughs> yeah. um, so these are designed to operate 24-7. They're designed to operate in suboptimal conditions, especially with many other drives vibrating away nearby, not just spinning, but also with their, uh, with their read heads like ticking and clacking around. So that's what's special about them. So when you say 24-7, 24-7 for how long? Uh, typically, they're rated for anywhere from three to five years. Uh, don't quote me on this one. Let me get back to you on that. Thank you for asking. You're uh, welcome. They actually have a five-year <laughs> warranty. Five-year warranty? Yeah. Solid. Do you have any idea what my current setup is? I basically just have a big PC, right? And then I just You know, put... it's not a measuring, it's not a contest. But... Well, yeah. and then what I did, <laughs> I counted how many hard drive holes it had, which I think is the technical term, and then I shoved them in, and I just filled it up. Wait, so there's no like data protection on them or anything? Well, I did a little software raid, like a raid one or something. Like in Windows? Yeah. So tell me why that's bad, Linus. Um, it's just flaky. Yeah, like Windows, Windows RAID is not. I thought that would be the case when I set it up. I was like, this is just some jank. I'm making a jank thing. Let's put these aside for now. And let's have a look at the server. You want a hand? Uh, yeah, that would actually be great. Thank you. OK. You were bound to do something to help with this eventually. <laughs> Uh, you know, came to Canada. In all seriousness, though, he did come to our studio and help us with a fantastic, at least I think it's fantastic video. So you haven't seen this at all? No. Oh, I know nothing about this. Excited. So these are our Canadian bros. They're based out of Eastern Canada. A company by the name of 45 Drives. <laughs> oh, boy. God. 
and their whole shtick. Slightly differently to how I would have done that. But, ah. You know, it, it got it got it done. Is high speed, reliable network storage. And they've got a pretty cool little feature. So they actually fabricate everything themselves. Their parent company is called Protocase. So they build these enclosures and they can customize all kinds of cool stuff, including that front panel. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. So uh, I actually haven't that, that's seen like, it yet, so. That's like the one video you've seen, right? Um, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> actually. No, no, I've seen a few, but that, okay. that's one of one of the three. Yeah, that's a that's a memorable one. Now it looks like uh, the courier kicked this. Boop. I think they've actually revised this product since they sent this because we said we were going to do this collab like six months ago or something like that. But I think it was longer than that. I think it was actually. Longer. <laughs> the way it works fundamentally is pretty similar to now. So you've got 15 drive bays right here, all conveniently numbered. Oh, so just this bit is the drives. Mm -hmm. The rest of this is the server that runs the thing. All right. So it looks like they actually sent you a pretty nice little configuration here. That's pretty sick. So you've got 32 gigs of RAM on an LGA 1366 server board. And this is your storage card. So that's a host bus adapter. So it wires into each one of your drives individually over here. And then this right here is a dual 10 gigabit network card. Damn. Another cool thing is these guys use all Noctua fans. Are you familiar with those guys? Uh, only from your videos. Yeah, high quality, quiet. So this thing is actually quiet enough that unlike a lot of sort of rack mount server type equipment, um, you, could, you could put it on a desk or under a desk or whatever and it's not gonna bother you. So fire it up. Put the drives in? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited about it. Let's see if you can handle this. He's apparently put hard drives into a thing before, so. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was coming. Okay, so yeah, yeah, no, you're good. That's it. I'm gonna fill you up. I'm gonna fill you up. Something kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it was safe until you said that. Yeah. This one is not behaving. Yeah, it's not making it better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just keep going. Come back yeah. to that one. I'll yeah. come back. <laughs> this video would have been longer, but Linus kept saying stuff that we can't use. <laughs> Weird, another eight second bleep. I'm gonna try this one over here. Ho oh. ho! <laughs> I, I didn't go there with it. When will it end? <laughs> and people really wanted to hear Linus in, a, in one of our videos, but he really just didn't say much. It was weird. All right. Oh, God. Is it heavy now? So like you know me? how I was saying, like, uh, you pick up a hard drive and you're like, that's not that heavy. And then you put 15 of them in a box and you try and pick it up and you're like, oh. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Uh, do you have, like, your laptop here or anything? Because I can show you. I can map out on your laptop like a spot in your browser bar for where you go to yeah. administrate it and all that kind of cool stuff. He's looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's been up for like 19 <laughs> hours straight now. <laughs> okay, so do you want to do the honors? This button? Yep, go ahead. Did you do something right when I did that? Did you press it? Well, I was going to and then the light went off. Oh, try again. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I feel like that would have been better if I didn't notice that you... <laughs> I was trying to do it really quietly. I, uh, hold on, let me see if I can do it quieter. Just a sec. Uh, no, nah, I no, still would have There's still it. a little, yeah, okay. This yeah, place is too well soundproof. Just press the button. VGA, sweet. You don't ever have to use that. Oh. Yeah, I remember I set Marquez up with one of these, and I was like, hey, do you have a VGA cable? And he's like, what decade is it? <laughs> like, oh. I know, but server stuff still uses it. Yeah, I still have a few VGAs. Tried to capture from an arcade machine. I need a VGA for that. There you go. So this is it. You access your server by typing its name or IP into your browser bar, and boom, you're configuring it. So I'll do a couple 
initial setup things that you'll never have to do again or worry about, but I still need your help for them. First things first, what do you want it to be called? Slow fatty. Slow fatty, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Slow fatty. Is that how you spell fatty? I-E? I thought a fatty is like, like a blunt, like I-E, but then a fatty with a Y is like a fat person. Well, this is like fat, fat storage. Lady. It's a fat amount of storage. Oh, so you want pH? No, no. Slow, <laughs> fatty. Like, is that what you're after? That's perfect. Okay, slow, we'll fatty. stick with that. All right, as long as you can remember that, <laughs> I never would. Now, you have to make a very critical decision. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, like, yeah, it shows up everywhere. What were you expecting? <laughs> You actually... I'll be honest, I didn't expect it to make me laugh so soon after naming it, <laughs> but there it was. I mean, here, does, does, this, does this tickle you? You actually type it into your browser bar to access it. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm going to regret naming it that, but I'll just remember that it was really late when we did it. Sure. And that would be my excuse. Do you want 140 or 130 terabytes of storage? I assume 130. For... So that'll give you up to two drive failures at a time without losing any data. When a drive fails, I'll know immediately, right? Yeah, you can set it up so it'll send you a notification. So, so all that is is contingency for if two drives fail at the exact same time? Not necessarily. Okay. So the thing about hard drives is, especially as their capacities have gone up, the odds of them failing during a rebuild have increased. Because once you get to the stage in their lifetime where they're starting to fail, well, they're all equally worn out. So once one fails, and you pop in a new drive, and you go to rebuild that parity data that's on that new drive, all the other ones are getting hit that whole time, and it can take a full day in order to do that. So if you have a second failure during your rebuild operation, you can lose data. Now, what's cool about Unraid, because this is not RAID. Are you familiar with RAID? Right, yeah. you're running RAID. Okay, so this is not RAID. This is UnRAID. Normal RAID will actually stripe your data across all the drives, so if you have a one drive resiliency, let's say, and you lose two drives, all gone. If you have one drive worth of resiliency in a setup like this, and you lose two drives, you lose whatever was on those two drives, and that's it. The rest of them are all still protected. So it comes with a speed penalty, but in the event that you had your tower up on its side like this, and you got flooded with six inches of water, you have lost Six drives worth of data, and the rest is still there. Got it. So that's why we recommend this for just archival storage. Yeah, I mean, that, and that's what I need. Cool. I mean, is that what you would recommend? Uh, I always set up two parity drives, yes. Okay. Do you want to press it? I like that you let me press all the, are you going to turn it off before I press it? No, no. Uh, you done with that guy? Hands Boom. behind my back. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. We're formatted. These still aren't synchronized. You'll have to do that at home. Or maybe yep. I'll just leave this running, and then we'll ship it to you once that's done. And that is 130 terabytes of formatted storage. Why, why am I missing 0 0.04 of a terabyte? Look, I don't one? make the rules. Look, they're all 9.99. I don't know. OK, good. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is tough for you. What is the largest file you could conceivably dump on here? Um, you can record directly to the mag for as long as it takes to fill it. So one terabyte would be the biggest file I can make. Wow. Okay, that sucks because what that's going to do is it's going to leave a terabyte of space free on every one of these drives to account for... Oh. You can't <laughs> split a file between drives. Okay. Well, let's just say I won't do that. Okay. And, uh, then I would say the biggest RAM on the camera would be like 288 gigs. That's still a lot, though, isn't it? Yeah, but that's less horrible. 290 gig. Okay. There you go. What's your biggest file? Much smaller than that, because we don't leave the, the 8K cameras running continuously. You so. don't use them as like security cameras when no. you're not yeah. sure? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We can easily access these, and we could even do something as crazy as I don't know, copy a file. Here's a file. Let's put that in there. Oh, that's my first file. <laughs> yeah. Does it say anus? You made it. Did you pre make a file called anus? <laughs> I did. I just have that. Oh, you. Would you like to open it? It's just, it's nothing. It's an oh. empty text file. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I forget why I called it that. I think I, it was really late at night and I was doing like server maintenance and I was testing. I, I, no, I do remember the story. So I was testing file synchronization between two of our servers because our main production server, um, it has a service running on it that automatically takes any file that gets put onto it and then replicates it to a completely separate machine. So I just needed a lightweight file that I could use to test what the lag was between copying something to the main server and it going to the other one. I was in like kind of a weird mood. I was kind of late night giddy. Yeah, so kind of I'm, like how I am right now. So I made anus.txt. Yeah. And um, it, it, are you deliberately less professional with me? Like, did you put anus on like Marquez's one or Justine's one? No, no, that just happens to be the folder I had open. Okay. That's my my documents folder on this computer. Sure. All right. Whoa, that's the biggest ant I've ever seen. Holy. Sh Wow. Should we get like slow-mo footage of it walking? Wow. I mean, if, if it wasn't so late and it didn't require so much effort, I would say yes. <laughs> Blippity bloppity, select the volumes you want to mount. And there's anus.txt. And there it is, just like that. Phenomenal. So that's it. That's the whole thing. You actually don't need this VGA cable or a keyboard and mouse plugged into this thing. Two cables, power, Network, you administer the whole thing through your web browser, and actually you barely administer it at all if you're just planning to use it for bulk archival storage. You just copy stuff over to it, and that's it. It's honestly a lot easier than I thought it would be. I mean, I haven't, obviously, I haven't dealt with it yet, but it seems not too complicated. I'll, I'm going to try and make it last at least till the end of this year. Oh, my God. Before it's full. Before it's full. I got to say, you're making me feel kind of like this whole effort was very pointless. No, it isn't. It isn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm buying you, what, two months? <laughs> no, that's great. No, I'll stretch it out. That'll be... Do you have any idea how hard it was to get my hands on this stuff <laughs> for you? That'll be at least eight months. I just eight. won't shoot as much. So there you have it. <laughs> if you don't see any videos over on the main Slow Mo Guys channel, those of you who follow over here on the second channel are going to know that it was all because of me. There you go. Thanks for that. Slow Fatty 2020 at least. That segment was actually shot about three months ago. I've been holding off on posting this because I wanted to get the server in, get my files on it, and see how I've been getting on with it. It's been online for over 90 days at this point. It's almost completely full, as we expected. What it's allowed me to do is have all of my exports in the same place, a ton of phantom raw footage that I can easily pull from. If I reference an old video and a new one, I no longer have to scramble through old external drives and try and figure out my 10 year old labeling system. A lot of the stuff I frequently need to go back to is all in one place. And it's honestly wonderful. It's one of those little tweaks that just makes life so much simpler when I'm editing all these videos. It's just peace of mind knowing that I can quickly grab something that's already sat on my network, always running. I love it. So big thanks to Linus and crew for organizing all of that and staying up until midnight helping me make the video. Big thanks to 45 Drives, Western Digital for the drives themselves, and Unraid. Hopefully you enjoyed that very techy video. Make sure you subscribe to Linus Tech Tips, The Slow Mo Guys, and this channel if you want, The Slow Mo Guys too. I'll see you next time.